Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed of a from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Bread. Immediately, daily bread comes. He begins to talk of many, many things. Forgiveness avoidance of temptation and deliverance from trouble all tied to the arrival of daily bread are we together now there are many troubles and challenges that come into the life of the believer only on account of open doors most people have this understanding that the moment you are not excelling in the spirit that is the only time when challenges can come and buffet you. But that there is a dimension of troubles and challenges that befall a believer on account of your excelling in the spirit and on account of the doors that have now been opened unto you. And if you do not understand that such a reality exists in the spirit as you'll be learning, you will be ignorant on how to manage open doors and that which was meant to be a blessing ends up becoming a curse. There are many people who have no business with certain troubles except and unless that certain doors were opened and they were not holistically mentored to know what to do with open doors. Are we learning now? So... There are battles in life that only open doors bring. Once your door is closed, you do not even know that such battles exist. It will take your doors open to now be exposed to that reality of life. Let's look at a scripture and then I would now begin to discuss. In Acts chapter 16, are we learning already? Verse 11, Acts chapter 16, please give us from verse 11. The Bible says, not verse 1, 11, yes. It says, therefore, speaking now about um, the apostles, it says, therefore, losing from Troas, we came with a straight course to all of that name, and the next day to Neapolis, verse 12. And from thence to Philippi. Now watch this. They are right, Philippi, which is the chief city of that part of Macedonia and a colony. And we were in that city abiding certain days. Let's continue. It says, and on the Sabbath, we went out into the city by a riverside where prayer was one to be made. And we sat down and spake unto the women which resorted hither. He's, he's narrating a story now. And a certain woman, so they went out and found a woman called Lydia. The Bible called her a seller of purple. She was a wealthy woman, a woman obviously of royalty and grace. And the Bible says she was of the city of Thyatria and she worshiped God. When she had us, her heart was opened and she attended to us unto the things that were spoken of Paul. Verse 15. The Bible says, and when she was baptized and her household, she besought us saying, if ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house. Does that look like an open door? She opened the door of opportunity and said, come into my house and abide there. And she constrained us. Verse 16. While they stayed with her, enjoying the blessings that they had now received, a right hand of fellowship in Philippi, the Bible says a time came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by suit saying. 17. The same followed Paul and us and cried saying, these men are servants of the most high God. Can you imagine the accuracy of her suit saying? Which show us the way of salvation. Absolutely nothing wrong about that statement. And this did she for many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. 19. 19. 
you would call this a display of the power of God you would call this an opportunity to see Jesus revealed even in Philippi now this was a man who had secured favor with Lydia and now this was an opportunity to bring fame to the name of Jesus the Bible says when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone they caught Paul and Silas what a demon could not do the human beings who are now angry are now about to bring the apostles in trouble it didn't take more than a minute to speak a word and that demon left the woman now trouble is about to come as a result of this opportunity that has been opened the bible says they drew them to the marketplace unto the rulers verse 20 and brought them to the magistrates saying these men being jews do exceedingly trouble our city notice the intelligence of these guys they never said they came and stopped us from making money are we together now they said these guys being jews this is the trouble that they brought and they went straight to the judicial system and they said listen we need help from the judicial system to punish these people because they are jews they are bringing trouble to our city reading to 24 let's finish up 21 they said and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe being romans look at the intelligence of these guys the whole goal was not an advocacy for the purity of the rome the roman people the goal was an annoyance because certain things were happening to these guys and now because the liberty of the spirit was being expressed within that place there were repercussions to it the bible says they teach customs that were not profitable for us to receive being romans verse 22 and the multitude rose up together against them and the magistrates rent off their clothes can you imagine the anger and commanded to beat them 23 and when they had laid many stripes upon them don't forget that these men who are going through this trouble are anointed men the anointing was demonstrated a few moments ago in the presence of a lady with the spirit of divination and here after that kind of thing you thought the next story would be an interesting crusade or the next thing would be an interesting celebration where they would say finally we have gotten these people how do you reconcile stripes with the manifestation of the supernatural that right after a fantastic miracle only god knows how many people had been defrauded by their divination now the apostles brought liberty and they were about to pay for it they cast them into prison charging the jailer to keep them safely verse 24 the bible says who haven't received such a charge thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks let's stop there for now now you understand what i mean by there are certain battles and certain challenges that you have no business even knowing about their existence except and unless you rise and ascend to certain dimensions listen this already is a message that ministers maturity so that in dealing with people you will have the discernment to understand that when god tells you to pray for all men you have no idea of the existence of the battles the battles that exist at certain realms and certain strata of life for as long as you've not gotten a job you may never understand the possibility of jealousy towards an excelling staff so when someone is telling you look it looks like something happens in you cannot relate because you are surrounded by too much kindness and because that level of breakthrough has not come you've not captured that possibility in your mind are we together there are many people whose innocence today is not because they are free from trouble they've not risen to the realm that makes that trouble necessary in their life are we together now there are battles in life that only open doors bring. Pay attention. The
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.